I purchased a crochet needle from this beauty supply store. And I'm gonna see how to use it. What's up guys? I bought a few things from the store, so I'm gonna try them out. I don't know if you recognize this hat, but this hat's from my last uh, most popular video where I cut off my dreads. And <laughs> a lot of people call it a clickbait, but I did cut off my dreads. I didn't cut all of them, but I cut quite a bit. All right, I'm gonna start this video by showing you guys, oh, I just got a text. Showing you guys my setup first. Uh, first off, this is a Windows computer, HP, iPad. Third, my desk, literally just a rolling desk with flaps that come up. And then I'm sitting on this thing. In the beginning of the video, I showed you guys that I went to a beauty supply store and I picked up some things. One of those things was a crochet hook. Now, I've never actually used one of these things before until today but they have a tiny hook right there. And then there's like this little, little thing right here. I'm not quite sure what that's for, but I just tried it on my hair and it's pretty cool. The second thing I got were these dread rings. I'm not sure if that's the full name, the real name, official name, but these things, you know, they look shiny. And it's like jewelry for your dreads. It's like an earring for your dreads. So all you do is just put one through here and just squeeze it. I don't know if you can see it, but it is not connected right there. There's a little split so that when you twist it like this, it will crush down and it will form to the size of your dread. All right, so I went ahead and used this specific set of three dreads right here. This Congo, that's what I've heard it be called. I'm not sure if that's the right name. But, so I used the crochet hook and I put a little dread ring on it. Uh, so with the crochet hook, I these were originally um, separate, but I took it and formed them into one dread because they had a lot of new growth. And now you can see, wait, I wonder if I can turn to this side. Can you see where they, they're stuck together? They can't go back to the, the root by themselves because they're all stuck together as three. And then I decided, since they're already at three, I might as well just stick this on. And, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm going to keep that there. I don't know how long. I tried using these things before, but they all fell off over time. I had, like, six on. All right, so now I'm going to give you guys a tutorial on how to use these little, little tools right here to make your dreads look extra fresh, you know? Oh, I was going to say this earlier. Um... I usually retwist my own dreads. I don't have a loctician at the moment that I go to. And I've heard that crochet hooking is a good technique. So I'm going to try it out for myself and compare it to twists.
right, guys. So in that little process, I took these two. Wait, let me let me move the rest of these out of the way. Out of these three right here, I took these two. Okay. It is hard to focus with that light. Let me move right here. I took these two. And can you see how one is sort of butted off, it's rounded, and the other one is frizzy and all extended going in its own direction. I wish I could make that focus. Yeah, you can see the, you can tell the difference between the one I crocheted and the one that I didn't. Obviously, like, okay, let's say I were to twist the tip of this. This is just twisting. If I were to just twist this. See how it got longer and skinny? Rather than getting butted off at the end and looking... Um, like this one looks disproportionate compared to the rest of it because it, it just gets skinny at the end. This one stays the same, same uh, shape. So it might be shorter than the other one simply because of the fact that I pulled the ends in but it looks better so I'm going to explain the crochet hook since I didn't really do it before this little hook goes down into the thread and it finds the hairs at the tip it will find them and it'll hook onto those hairs at the tip. And after it hooks onto those hairs, it will pull them from the outside back inside. Whoa. My hat flew off. All right, guys, so I went ahead and finished um, butting off the ends on both of these, or all three, I should say. But uh, I felt like the way I showed you guys wasn't really a good example. I was looking to find like pipe cleaners or something so I could show you guys, but I'll just try my best to use this little piece of paper right here. Okay, so I cut them into strands, pieces. So I'm gonna think about these as hair. Let's see, these are individual strands of hair. Now... What's up guys? So that white screen you just saw was a, a whole load of BS dealing with um, Apple storage, iCloud, whatever they might call it. Uh, I've actually dropped I think two videos since since what you guys saw me working on. Uh, one of them is how to backflip. If you want to learn how to backflip, go check it out. That's my most recent video. Before this one, maybe. If I post this one next. If I upload this one next. But uh, I'm just going to hop in where I left off. These little strands of paper are going to represent strands of dreads. And I'm going to use the crochet hook that little hook right there now let's say your hair is all spread out like that and you want it to bring it all together into one piece the crochet hook would reach right in between it right in between it like that and then it would see this piece right here you can see that it's hooking it and then it would pull it so what it's doing is it's reaching through, grabbing any excess hair that might be sticking out and pulling it back through. And that way it's, it's, it's basically like sewing. When you're sewing, you're taking that needle, you're taking that thread, and you're pulling it through whatever piece of fabric or, yeah, fabric yarn, anything that you have. You're pulling it through, you're pulling it back through, and you, you just keep pulling it until it's in there until it can't come out you keep just pulling everything back together back together back together back together back together oh i just pushed that out 
And yeah, it's basically the same thing with hair. Um, I did explain this a whole lot better earlier, or two days ago, but my mood kind of changed since then, especially with all this storage mumbo jumbo that I went through. But if this helped, uh, let me know if there's any tips that you guys know that I might need to learn, things that I don't know. Feel free to comment down below. Uh, yeah, leave a like if you want to. Share if you want to. Um, yeah, subscribe if you're not already subscribed. And peace.